Welcome Libra to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you could do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see what is your person currently thinking of when it comes to you. Let's find out. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person who is connected to my collective Libras and love? What is their overall energy when it comes to you? What does Libra need to know about their love interest? What are they currently thinking of when they think of you? Jeez. It's a lot. <laughs> Just one card, please, Spirit. What are their thoughts when they think of you in the present moment? What are they currently thinking of? What is your person thinking of? Okay. So we have, I see your smiling face in my mind's eye. So they've been they've been seeing you in their, their mind. And also I knew you were right, but I couldn't admit to myself or you. Hmm, interesting. So are you guys not talking? Um, because this person is thinking, okay, yes, uh, Libra, yeah, you were right. I hate to admit that you were, but yes, that is that's a fact. And you know they're missing on you so they're seeing you through their mind's eye you guys are probably not talking okay um you know they don't even want to say yeah libra okay thank you um maybe they said no thanks to you at some point let's go ahead and see what else all right that was fast sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred so what i'm feeling is that this person really does appreciate you okay but the problem is did they tell you that they they appreciate you or they love you or they think that you're you're amazing um you know maybe this person finds it really hard to admit that um you were right you know Maybe your person, um, you know, they're very controlling and they don't want to feel like they need your help or um, feeling like, you know, you're always right, okay? Uh, there's like this stubbornness that I'm picking up on your person here, but I see that this person does care a lot about you, okay? I see her sacred union. This could be your twin flame, okay? And... Um, they do feel like you guys have some sort of special connection, okay? So if they're not telling that to you, then they are thinking it. So let's see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me a little bit more and tell on this person how they currently think of you, how they feel, what is their intention, and what is the outcome? What do we need to know about the person who's connected to Libras and love in the present moment? Please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person connected to you in love at this time. Thank you. 
Yeah, so you you already know this one, okay? You guys know each other, and um, if you don't, you know, I feel like this is a past life connection, but I feel very strongly that you've um, talked to this particular person at some point, okay? Um, they keep thinking about the past. There must have been something that was said between the two of you for them to reflect about um what happened okay and look we have here the high priestess this is divine feminine energy this could be your twin flame okay so they're being a spiritually connected to their higher self and they're getting downloads um from the divine okay about maybe this connection that they have with you what i'm seeing here is that they're done like looking at the past. This person has been looking at the past for some time. I feel like they got the lesson. They're in awareness. They want to move on. The only thing that they need to do is really uh, face you, okay, and tell you that you were right. You know, um, I don't know if that's weighing on your person's subconscious, but it's really, uh, really heavy in this reading so far. So I have a feeling like. You know, if they're in their head about making some sort of conclusion or decision, they have chosen to get out of separation with you, okay? They're just tired of feeling like they're not good enough or feeling like it was never the time. And um, yeah, they're always in their head. So this person is like really like they're an overthinker. They think too much. And like we have here justice, you know, maybe they're judging you. Maybe you're always, you know, the voice of reason, but they were just in their head and they were conflicted. Why were they so conflicted? I mean, this could be about other people. Um, maybe they were just being too hard on themselves. And what I'm seeing is that they didn't really want to work on this for whatever reason. This has been possibly going on for the past three years. You could be dealing with a Virgo, and I see that they're they're really thinking that they just didn't have um, the energy to open up uh, to you emotionally, and they're starting to see that you guys are, are lovers, okay? Divine counterparts, if you will. Some sort of third-party situation got in the way between the two of you. It was divinely guided. I really feel like this reading is for my twin flame. So this is about you and someone else. You guys are in separation. And the reason for the separation is that there is a third-party interference. Um, this has been going on for three years, okay? So I feel like you've already known this person for a good number of years time three at least three years um you know i feel like they were kind of hurt during that time they were really blocking themselves and um i feel like you guys are at a distance so um some travel here could could be involved maybe uh the last time you ever connected with them was about a year ago the other thing i'm also getting um is that Someone here got pregnant, okay? Someone had a baby, and that's not for everyone, but I really feel like someone here had a baby with maybe a karmic partner, and that, that was the reason why you guys are not together. Because I see here that this is like a birth of uh, something new. And it's kind of fixed. I see all the four corners with fixed signs. And it didn't really make them happy. So there was a setback, okay? Like something happened so that you guys can't really be together. And I feel like universe stepped in. It was a karmic lesson, you know, that your person had to kind of go through. And I really feel that they're not happy because of this. I feel very strongly it was because of children or something happened, like a new something, a new relationship or new whatever. Okay, I feel like there was a baby for sure. Um, regardless, okay, uh, that's why they were really blocked up in their heart. They couldn't really open up to you emotionally 
um, because they didn't have the courage to give this love to you. This person loves you, okay? They really do love you, but something happened, okay? Like, oh, geez, man, this is like one tricky little situation, right? I don't know, like, there, there's a lot of, like, other people here involved. I don't know if this is family. Um, yeah, it, it's like more than one person here is what I'm getting. So it's not all about your person. If it was just about your person, like, you guys could, like, get together and, and make this work, right? But for the past three years, why did this person not come through they keep thinking about you they you know they're being divinely guided like they're getting downloads right um like it's time to get over this whole third party situation all they need to do is just face you if they can only face you you know do they have the power to face you you know because you were right all along because now after three years you know now your person is starting to see something right at least that's what it's looking like to me right now <laughs> they're like wow maybe it's been five years for somebody after five years you know finally they're they're getting out of the cold they're like i can't sit here it's been five years you know nothing is popping you know and they were in their head throughout this whole time maybe thinking that something was gonna pan out and it never did and five years is just like did they get lost in a freaking time warp or something you know where um Life goes on, but the same situation keeps happening over and over. And are they, you know, doing anything about it? Or are they just being complacent, right? I have a feeling like it's going to be different, you know, for everyone. But I, I clearly do feel like it has something to do with, you know, settling. And you're right. You were right. Like this person had the opportunity to leave whatever situation, but this person chose to settle. You know, they love you, but they didn't put any effort. You know, maybe for some, this has been going on the past year. You know, they feel attached. Maybe they're dealing with a Capricorn. But, you know, this person is a very passionate to get out of a relationship, but they're in their ego, okay? Because they didn't take your cup. Who did they take? They took the karmic's cup. And now they're making a decision and they're, they're just, they don't have nothing to say. You know, they're like, oops. <laughs> did I pick the wrong one? Oh, yes, honey. Yes, you did. Oh, uh, can I pick the right one now? You know, I feel like there's a reconciliation, you know, that either A, they're getting out of a relationship or B, they just weren't ready to have a relationship with you. Okay, so now they're getting out of their head about whatever that karmic situation was, and now they want to work on it after, I don't know how many years have passed, between three to five years. Okay, now they want to work on it, and they're starting to see that they just had fear. They had fear of leaving that whole situation behind. And that's why they cut you off. They didn't communicate this to you. And you're just like, you know, I, I'm getting like Libra. You just threw your hands up in the air. You're like, well, I don't get it. You know, you were communicating to them. You told them X, Y, and Z, you know, hey, you know, you're willing to do uh, whatever it takes to make it work. But this person did not comply. And it's like pulling teeth, right? After three to five years, now this person wants to show up. Um, wow, look. So one person got cut off and um, I really feel like they always had love for you, okay? But now they want to come back and they want to give you a full cup, okay? As the king of cups. You can be done with someone that has water in their chart. Yeah, you're going to get communication from them soon, okay? After being cut off. Let's see what else. Yeah, they were holding on. They didn't want to let it go. For some, you're done with the Scorpio, okay? They just were not feeling very stable in the past two years. It really could be financial, okay? Maybe they were not balanced for whatever reason. I feel like it was something that was going on in their 3D life, you know? Um, it could be friends, family, coworkers, a job situation. Could be children involved. Take your pick. It could be all the above. But that's what's been going on with this one for the past two years. 
But I really feel like, you know, for four years, um, this person was holding on to the situation. Okay. Now, how do they feel? They don't want to fight this anymore. They they really feel like, wow, you know, they were a fool. You know, um, they want to uh, tell you the truth that they they feel like, you know, they just weren't ready. I think it, it was just as simple as that, right? Now, what is their intention? Okay, so we're de dealing with an emperor. This could be divine masculine if you feel like this is your twin. Okay, I'm also seeing here three of cups energy. This is third party energy. So your person is making plans to like let go of the third party situation and it may require for them to lose whatever that they have invested into the whole situation with the karmic partner or karmic situationship, okay? Like I said, this could be work, this could be friends, this could be family. They're making plans. Now in the outcome, it's just too much. Well, something is not... I don't know. There's okay, your person is not happy right now. And I feel like it's gonna take time. I'm seeing seven years, right? So hear me out, okay, guys. Now I know that this that the timing is not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm seeing anywhere between three to eight years, okay, with a particular person. There's been a lot of like difficulty because your person was possibly in another situation. It doesn't have to be a family, but it could be the, the alternative of what I'm getting is that they let let work get in the way of this connection and um, they were just not personally feeling very stable to really give you all that you deserve now this person recognizes that you were telling them the truth they understand it but you know can they take back you know the time that was lost uh, for you guys to kind of redo things no but mind you we are in a mercury retrograde and i believe mercury went direct today I'm not exactly sure if it's not today. I think it's this weekend. But yeah, Mercury goes direct. Uh, I feel like it's today. And things are going back in the forward motion. So slowly but surely, your person is now starting to see, wow, a lot of time has passed. This is a sacred union. Okay, they really do treasure this relationship. You know, they keep thinking of your face, you know, like how you smile and they can't get enough of it. Like you really do make them low key happy. And, you know, it's going to really take like a conversation for you guys to really make amends. And that's what I feel. So let's see. Uh, how else does this person currently think of you? How are they thinking? You know, there's just a lot that's going on with them, you know, in the 3D sense. And, you know, they, they make life harder than what it needs to be. And I really feel like you're the voice of reason, Libra. Like, you really, you know, had their best interests. You really did. But, you know, people, they, they open up at different levels, right? You know, just because you're open, you know, like, in the very beginning, maybe they weren't at the time. Okay, and vice versa. So let's see. Yeah, this person has romantic feelings towards you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Is there another message that wants to come through spirit? How do they think of you? Maybe they're just too afraid to be romantic. And look, there's separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. I really feel like you've been in separation with this person for some time. And like I said, I feel like it was uh, anywhere between, let's just say, two years, two to eight years. Okay, it could be to up to 10 years for some. But I really feel like, you know, it's been years, okay, where you've been in separation. And I feel very strong three years for a majority of you. Okay, um, yeah. So let's see, what is the guidance that Spirit wants you to know? Spirit, what is the guidance that you have for Libra at this time? How should they navigate through this energy? How should they navigate through this energy? Pele, divine passion, be honest with yourself. 
what is your heart's true desire? So you have to really figure, and I could be talking about your person, right, Libra, and maybe you. How do you feel? Be honest with yourself. Like, what is in your heart's true desire? Do you do you love this person? Because I see clearly this person loves you. <laughs> You know, um, did they uh, really tell you their feelings? You know, um, maybe, you know, you're hoping that, you know, they would, you know, communicate the same things to you. Maybe this person isn't a great communicator. I definitely saw that they had a water in their chart, but just because they're water sign, they're not going to be like emotionally, oh, goo goo gaga over you. They may hold that feeling deep down within and they may not really show it to you. Okay. Because this person may be holding on to their feelings and maybe they're afraid to show you you know, um, how they truly feel. So I feel like, you know, it's going to take some time with this particular person. And um, I saw that, right? You know, they're overburdened because they're not feeling very stable right now. So spirit is saying, you know, just really have an understanding that your person isn't going through uh, a good time. And even though that you are the voice of reason, that doesn't mean that, you know, you should come in and fix the situation for them because that is clearly not what they want. And that could be the reason why that has caused a delay between you and this particular person. Like they definitely want to do things on their own. They don't need a handout or they don't need for you to come in and rescue them. You know, they do appreciate what you are saying to them. And, and that should be that just as long as that there's open communication between the two of you so that you guys can have a good rapport with one another and see like, what are you guys passionate about? Because this will come naturally, especially if the feelings are real on both sides. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio your moon intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.